What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to kind of round off about last time, um, we fought some more skirmishes with the Prussians. Uh, the, uh, Berlin has rebelled, which is fair enough, but I have a supremely strong force inside ready to repel any attack. Um, fought a minor naval battle against the Prussians trying to blockade Le Havre and managed to take out a very small number of Royal Navy ships. But there is another big Royal Navy fleet up here which is pretty damaged actually. Bellerophon. I need to ca I need to capture Bellerophon just for the just for the principle. And um, yep, captured a few ships, and also started to make some investments in navy stuff. And we also dropped off a stack onto Jamaica, ready to attack the port where the British forces are holed up. Or I could just walk into Kingston. I could just trigger the attack via attacking Kingston. Either way, things are going okay. Research is going okay. You track is advancing. Oh, I could upgrade. I could upgrade um, my schools actually next turn. Upgrade them up to universities. Um, Paris probably hate it. Oh yes, they're already. They're already hating it. So how many? Oh, I've got two schools in Paris, haven't I? I have. But I will build another happiness building there to balance it out. That's another force ready to head over to him. No, no, no. I said India, didn't I? No, I still want to got the British Empire. Opportunity to intercept. Hell yes. Come right on and attack me, British eyes. Just sit, but I close my door. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but yeah, that's the best part about when you're intercepting a force. Brilliant position because this game attacking is usually is always harder than defending. I've at least I've found. Okay, let's do this. Let's get them out of the way. Let's hold the fence line. My demi cannons deployed. No, it's a bad artillery spot. So let's put them over here as well. Let's take these guys out from that deployment zone. Spread them out on the left. No, I have fire by rank now, don't I? Must remember that. Have a militia there to guard the flank. That I've got my reserves, which will be ready. To be honest, it looks like I might have to deploy deploy my reserves over on this flank. So they need to run over there double time. This is where the enemy cavalry is, so my cavalry will run over in response. Shoot the general, he's right there. No, that unit of cav that's coming right for him. They're gonna chew up a nice tasty unit of nice tasty unit of militia. Because my gendarmerie are not gonna get there in time to respond. Stuck in. Oh, fire by rank is kicking in. Oh. 
need to pin the light cavalry down for my pikes to get in. Fire it well. There you go, now my pikes are in. Chew through that cavalry unit. Storm up. Send my general send my cavalry unit to attack the unit of buccaneers. Cannot deal with the overwhelming weight of firepower coming your way. Let's crush this flank via assault. By the time my pikes come in, my infantry will have a chance to get some shots. Cavalry is slicing up their buccaneers because they're only light infantry. Oh, let's get them back. Charges that unit of line from the rear. Oh, look at this guy with his. Pr oh no! He dropped. No, it was. It wouldn't be an eagle because they're. That's a royalist thing, but. Dropped his ego. Here comes the general. It's finally starting to waver. Oh, jab down. Artillery, you're out of it, I'm afraid. Halt. Are you going to fire the general or the infantry? The general. Shot out three members of his staff. Everyone else. Charge in to try to kill as many of them as possible in the melee. Surround them from all sides. Oh, I don't have bayonets. Still. Just 
have my cavalry just charge down the colonial line. Okay, the general was trying to have a pop. There you go, so now they're surrounding the route. They should be almost destroyed. Twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-six, twenty-five. Pretty much gone. Let's end the battle there. They've been utterly destroyed. Polish up. Um, probably an auto-resolve battle after this. But again, it's still then turn, so lost five hundred men, more than I'd like, but still, they are almost knackered. Then I'll add Jamaica to my growing list of islands. Because that doesn't mean it doesn't build more of a strategic impetus to, up to increase my naval capacity so that I can maintain free trade all my ports. So I'm an Atlantic Squadron, a, uh, um, East Atlantic Squadron, West Atlantic Squadron. And hey, if things go really well, I'll start sending things off to the uh, trade fleets, trade regions to start taking some ivory. Okay, the Iroquois are about to just go and polish off Louisiana and I'll fail my objective. I'm fairly sure I don't fail the campaign if they destroy Louisiana. That'd be an interesting exercise. I haven't thought about that. And I don't see why I would, but... You never know. <laughs> really? Oh, it's because they're, um... The rebels. I'm going to water that. There is unused Gentlemen research in France, so let's send you Building to Bordeaux to balance out. Right, so you're unhappy, so let's add a theatre, let's add a coaching in. Let's rebuild that, let's upgrade this to Paris Bourbon. Yeah, it does knock back building this, but you know that's quite. A, making sure my city Paris is happy before I build schools is quite a big deal. Of course, navy on the go. Let's capture them, then send probably all of them. Go out and then get them back into Jamaica. There you go, nice and happy. They don't like the fact I'm a Catholic, so we need to ship a missionary over here at some point. Let's rebuild that first, and then let's build roads. Get that delicious sugar product produce to port to um to market. There, it's on to Nassau. See, now I've got a fire at will. Knocking out the Native Americans should be quite a simple endeavour. How goes your recruitment? Still a couple of turns. Okay. That's a cheap farm. Have it. And whatever minor cash I have into, re into replenishing certain troops. Right. Call the research is going okay. Joint stock companies is good. Having a great university, yes, I can't do that. Research is still going well. I'm building my naval academy. Four turns. Naval board, sorry. Off a research quick line. Need to build the next level artillery building as well. Yeah, that force, that force in Montreal needs to head down the inland part so that I can... Uh, because I've got a couple of British, British stacks coming and I need like a full modern force just to be able to easily wipe out the Native Americans.
Yeah, Prussia's feeding troops into Berlin, but that's okay. Ooh, the Polish are pushing back Prussia. Could be pretty uncomfortable. I think that the Poles are still allied with Russia. Where are you going? Oh, trade theatre, I guess. Or pirating. Pirating's cool. At least the Mughals have... Well, maybe I've, maybe I've not... I've just not got enough research for the AI to make it think it's worthwhile sticking around. I think I've got three schools of gentlemen cranking away at research. Should be alright. Everyone's been pirating the Barbary states. Oh, go away. <laughs> there is unused land suitable Top for plantations in this region. Okay. Building plant. Alright. Plenish. Hop over to Berlin. Plenish. Oh, entertainment and culture is going to go through the through the roof. Oh, it's because of these upgrades, isn't it? Okay, Jesuit College, Seminary. They're religiously quite happy. Nantes is going to... Nantes, Nantes, there. Is it about to pop up? First, let's go to America. Okay, now you have a next tier port. You can have a next tier spice warehouse to get more stuff to port. Get To, to get to export, rather. Oh, Martinique. I forgot about Martinique. Their port will be finished in one turn, so your abundant yield sugar production will be online. So check I've not missed any... Ha! Ah, Acadia. Fort Nashwack. Cool. Cobbled roads. Huh. Okay, so I did. So I did say that would be tempting to do. I think I might do it. But what I'm first going to do is make sure I'm not building anything. I think I'll accept that. I'm fairly sure. If I look at trade now. Well yeah, there you go. I wasn't earning I wasn't earning anywhere near that much in out of um just Trinidad and Tobago and um, Tobago, so it's worth doing. I think right now still maintain course I think is the is the order of the day. Can I tax you now? I can tax you now. Good, and you'll gradually become more and more and more online with You'll become more and more online with uh, with my plans and with me being a Catholic. Mistress Louis the fifth Louis the fifteenth. Was that it? Wait, does say Louis the fifteenth? It did say Louis the fifteenth. Oh, I was getting confused with the battle thing. Right, cool. End turn.
Brits are still being the Brits. Austria is trying to rebalance against the Polish threat, which means I've probably got to deal with the Prussians. Mm, I'm keen. I'll push across the coast. <laughs> push down, take Gdansk. Push on to Königsberg. Knock the Prussians out of the game and end it. And that won't be what happens. <laughs> I'll open up a border with, border with the Russians and the Poles. And I don't really want that either. Oh, good old Spain. Yes. Yes, just auto that. So you have no allies, so I will be your ally. That and the Ottomans are quite far away. Oh no, wait. Ah, oh, Nadges. Ah, oh, that's gonna. Oh. My plan to invade Cairo. Well, I'm gonna have to break the. <laughs> I'm gonna have to break that alliance. I was about to say alliance with the, with the Ottomans is always good because. Uh, they're so far away from areas I usually try to invade. And then I just remembered, no, I'm trying to invade. That's exactly where I want to attack. So maybe that army in um, Saxony, that's where they'll go. I'll put them on a ship and ship them over to Cairo and land. Starts. Oh, don't declare on... Well, I'm, I'm going to declare on you, Moogles. Sorry. I'm going to send... My handful of broken ships to sink your single ship. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Because I'm not going to have your let your army land on my coast. No way. Then I'll go and take back Trinidad and Tobago and then we're done. God, this has been a diplomatic bust this turn. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Okay, so where's my battered navy? But with one strong fifth. So you, in your knackered fifth, with not much strength. How does my... so... Who are my allies? Who will back me in a fight against the Mughal Empire? Don't think I can risk it. Call my allies. Yeah, that's that's ended quite well actually. Got the Spanish to back me. Good. Because I wasn't bothered about I wasn't bothered about capturing that one. Does mean I need to go back and capture it again, but I'll do that. So we're no longer allies with the Ottomans. I am. Damn. Okay, let's put you over here. Ooh, pour la couronne et le pays. There we go. Diplomacy. Embark. Can you sprint through that mess? Shh. 
Shall I do it? No, I don't want to risk losing all of my allies. Well, and this is why you have allies. Who will lose? Oh, everyone, everyone's back to me. Excellent. And if they're at war with Russia, then they, most of their armies might be up here. So I might have stolen a march on them. Excellent. Well. <laughs> oh, moly, holy, moly, moly, moly. What is you unhappy about? You were positive, I'm sure. War weariness, nine. It's the first time I've ever had to deal with that. Right, so I'm going to look at all these cool units later, but I want to build... Uh, build an army of militia, because holy moly, I cannot afford... I can't afford to have Paris, re Paris rebelling on me. Oh, Jesus. Right, okie dokie. So diplomacy, God, I'm at war most of the major. Bring Chris Peace, Tech, I'll offer you. Approved animal husbandry. I don't want to... So, I'd like to make peace with Russia, but I can't. I'd like to make peace with Prussia, but I don't want to give them... I'll give them that. I am not give you or do I give you fire by rank no I'm not gonna give you that sort of tech advantage tech what about that good get off my land Does mean I can now start to build things like Happy Town and Church School and fix the port and fix the Weaver's Cottage and fix the farms. Oh, I'd have enough money to fix this farm. It's pretty broken. Right, let's enter and see what happens. Oh, 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 this is an interesting proposal. Do I let France rebel and become a republic? Ooh, that's an interesting one. Okay, I'm going to do a bit of research on this. I'm tempted to do it. Because it would be super themey. Hmm. I think I'm going to do it. In which case, I'm probably going to want to do that and let it happen and knock down that so that entertainment and culture doesn't go up as much as planned. Same here. But this is all going to kick off next, during the next, uh, in the next part, maybe the part afterwards, depending on how, how long it takes to, to, uh, to cause a rebellion. <laughs> Ah, oh, great, a pump. Cool. But yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are okay with me. Oh, mm. oh, but do I? Do I form a public order play as Royalist France? Mm. I'm stuck. And the problem is, is that I'm recording a lot of these videos in advance because in between August and September... I'm going to be on holiday for three weeks in New Zealand. So I'm recording lots of videos ahead of time so that they will be uploading while I'm away. So this will be 
sounds like this video will probably be coming out in about four weeks. And I can't call out to you guys to suggest things. Because there won't be the time to get the feedback loop completed. Oh god. Hmm. I think I'm gonna. I, th I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it just to take advantage of it. Oh, I do. Hmm. No. Oh. I'm gonna have a look to see if going republic, what becoming a French republic, apart from the government benefits, what does it do? Does it shut down cool units? And does it open up some new ones? That's kind of what's going to be the deciding factor for me. So I'm going to do a bit of research, see what happens, and then you'll see in the next part. Well, I'll go through in the next part what I decide to do. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next part.